a good morning students uh, so today i have come up with another summer research fellowship program for you all okay which was published which or which was advertised by indian academy of science okay so first log in to ias.ac.in so this is in the site you will be able to see the summer research fellowship program advertisement okay so if you click on it you will get this page okay for this research fellowship program both students and teachers are eligible that is the speciality of this program okay if you see they have given the instructions like below the gen in general if you see it it is an online form no need to download it i mean no need to download a hard copy of it just fill the form online and submit it okay so now let's go through the general details they have given its application should be submitted online in the prescribed format as i said before okay it is mandatory to upload mark sheets from class 10 till last examination okay it's good to have the scanned version of mark sheets ready before you start filling up the application only one application is considered from a candidate so don't keep on applying okay so good to submit only once if you are submitting more than once then it will not be considered at all okay and this is a normal thing uh, that if a column is marked with asterisk sign then it is mandatory and you should not or leave it blank and the good thing is the last date of application is 30th of november 2019 and still we have enough time so start preparing from now onwards okay take a good topic so because you have to do a write up in the area of your interest and based on the write up the write up should not be copied from anywhere it should be of your idea what you want to uh, in which area you want to pursue your research and what is your idea like if you want to give a solution for some problem then you have to you write it up okay so uh, here they have given the eligibility criteria for students so bsc bs or bbsc students from second year onwards sorry it's only second year can apply b form it's third and fourth years can apply for so similarly you can go through all these things okay then also as i said before teachers can also apply the important criteria for teachers is teachers must be teaching in a college or university and the minimum percentage of average mark should be 65 percentage for students which is not applicable for teachers phd students are not eligible only the students who are pursuing their degrees either under graduation or master graduation they can apply okay and this part already i discussed that you have to uh, give a write up about your area of interest and in 150 to 250 words it should not exceed 250 words and it should not be copied from anywhere it has to be of your own idea okay and this is also already told that the scanned copy should be ready before uh, you start filling up the application and the each mark sheet should not exceed 700 kb 
so check the size when you scan your mark sheet just check the size and keep it below 700 kp in case of teachers they should upload their publications of any on selection and authorization letter from the principal or hod that necessary permission or leave of absence will be granted should be sent by post to the coordinator SRPF 2020 Indian Academy of Science Bangalore to this address they have to send the permission letter signed in by principal or HOD also students are required to give their present teachers or HODs address okay because the academy will get, get in touch with the teacher and obtain the recommendation letter and here if you see no it is not your role to get the recommendation letter from your HOD here the organization or the academy itself they will get the recommendation letter And this is as usual, it is uh, the sole discretion of the academic, the selection will be based. Okay. In case of any candidate is found with false information, his fellowship will be cancelled and he'll be, he or she will be asked to pay back the fellowship amount or travel allowance, whatever they have provided whatever provided by the academy okay okay so it is a general note that um, that the academies which are related to this indian academy of science uh, so you you'll be able to uh, but uh, if you get uh, if you are uh, getting selected then uh, you can pursue your research in any of this institution okay so they will allot you a guide uh, a guide means a person from the list of scientists or faculty approved by the academies as guides okay so in these academies the scientists who work on or do research they will be the guides if you are getting selected and uh, there is a person they have given for all correspondents to whom you should address to yes now we can go ahead and see how to register So when you click on how to register you will be asked to choose whether you are a student or teacher choose and also the area of interest where you want to which you want to proceed your research you have to choose for example here I have chosen life science click next so in life science what is the area for the you want to dig into so here i'm choosing biotechnology or microbial sciences let me go for microbial sciences and i'm clicking next so this is how the application will look like so as i as we discussed before you have to keep all your mark sheet scanned and it should be below 700 MB. so here you will give your first name last name and your gender date of birth email id everything is very clear and then your city state your address for correspondence and your permanent address if it is 
different from your address for correspondent and your SSLC marks and the percentage obtained institution all usual things you have to provide and everything should be genuine and because you are going to upload the scanned copies of your mark sheet as well and if you are a post graduate if you are undergoing post graduation then that details you have to provide also integrated phd students are eligible to apply and their semester um, year and marks needs to be filled in okay so this is how you have to fill up the application and uh, here is the place where you need to provide the write up of your area of interest okay and it should not be beyond 250 words it should be between 150 to 250 then give the place date and your name and click on submit verify everything once and then click on submit okay so that's all students all the best so uh, during your academics apart from the normal subjects it's good to utilize these opportunities prepare well okay give a good write-up so if you really want to go into research and you, if you want to be a scientist and add value to the world, then this is the right time. Keep updating your knowledge. Look out for some research fellowships conducted by great institutes like Indian Academy of Science or Jawaharlal Nehru, Center for Advanced Research. Uh, scientific research or IASC or anything just keep browsing for such opportunities and don't miss out this ch chance okay yes all the very best please uh, do subscribe to my channel for further updates in the future and give your likes and also comment to me if you have any questions just input your comments thank you